Hi everyone, it's Agnes and welcome to another interview and today I'm really excited because Mariana, who many of you have watched her first interview, has come back to do a part two. So hello Mariana, welcome back. Hi, thank you so much Agnes to have me back. Uh, I'm so excited. Yeah, I think your interview really helped a lot of people and I thought, oh, let me just see if... Um, where she's at and where she, you know, if she's yeah. available. Mariana, where are you in the world? Just so people know where you are. I'm in Washington, DC area. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Good so. stuff. So what do you want to tell us? I'm really open to you. You know, you know what you shared last time. Where are you at with different bits and pieces in your life? Manifesting, self-love, meditation, all that. You start wherever you want. Yeah. Well, I have received a lot of emails from my last video. So I was definitely a bit overwhelmed. I didn't know that yeah. people would love it. And, um, but meeting all of these people that had needed help actually helped me with my journey and learning where, what things to do and what not to do. Yeah. So um, this is a never ending process. Once you, once you're in it, you never stop. You will always continue to need those self-love meditations and new beliefs come up. And so it taught me a lot. Mm. And for all the people that are just starting, I just want to let them know that this is actually beneficial because it's a journey to learn how to love yourself and who you are, what you're doing on this planet. We're not here just to yes. play around. Yeah. So it's actually a blessing to have someone break up with you. I know this is sounds ridiculous, but it is. I yeah. Just yeah. temporarily. It's just temporarily. Yeah. Because once you start on that journey, and the journey is not about getting your ex back, okay? At least in my perspective. Yeah. It's really a new world. And you get your ex back as a gift, I guess. I don't know. It's yep. your, what yep. you're attracting. So you start attracting all the positive things. And you attract 50,000 X backs, not just that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, isn't that true? It brings everybody out of the. Everyone, <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, I haven't talked to you in how many years? Who are you again? <laughs> it is. It's like a can of worms, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So, yeah. but talking to everyone, I learned that everyone is pretty much doing the same thing, the same mistakes. Yep. And, ah, uh, I don't even know where to start. I wrote okay. notes. Okay. Yeah, well, actually, speaking of that, I think that's a good place to start. What mistakes do you see? Because you did get a lot of emails from the interview. What yeah, do you think I the common see... mistakes people made? What do well, you Well, um, mistakes in uh, relation to when you get the person back. Yes. Because it seems like a lot of people have uh, temporary um, effects because yes. honestly they haven't really understood the process yeah and one of the main things I suggest is to keep there's three things one is honesty I noticed that a lot of people would tell their partner like if the partner says oh what are you doing today they would be like oh I'm hanging out with friends but they're at home watching tv yes so I want to look busy yes no. yes that's a lie it's a lie you can't be someone else. And yeah. if you're at home watching a movie, trust me, it's a lot more attractive than you being drunk outside. Yeah. I, yes. Okay. Yes. Yep. And I don't, um, with this process of self-love also, I don't like going to drink anymore. I think it's unhealthy for me. Yeah. And, but that's a whole, that's just a lifestyle change. Yeah. And yeah. Secondly, um, it's, uh, let me see. What did I write? Oh, loyalty. Yeah. So if you decide that you want to be in this process of getting your ex back, you can't talk to other people. If that's who you want. Yeah. That's my opinion. You can do yeah. whatever you want, obviously. Yeah. But yeah. You, what is the point in your mind? You're still thinking about your ex. Why are you playing with someone else's feelings? Mm -hmm. It's just all wrong. But if you don't want to go back on that route, there's people that actually decided, hey, I don't want my ex back anymore. He doesn't fit me anymore. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. And you cannot do two things. Yeah. And 
that. And then yep. is consistency. Like when the person texts you back and it's dry for you, you can't be dry back. You have to come out of unconditional love. Be always, I mean, talk always from the heart. Yeah. Oh, oh great. Have a great day. Or just always be positive. And, oh, mm-hmm. and so give you, and give. Give. Yeah. Without asking anything back. Yeah. That's the main thing. And yeah. Um, even my friends around me, it seems like I got surrounded by people that needed help with relationships. Yeah. Um, yeah. The interpretation of messages is just um, what gets you in trouble because then, oh, he's too cold. Let me talk to someone else that will give me more attention. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. No. Because that whole sentence, if you're saying that, is you're not giving enough. You need to give more. I need to get more. Yes. That's what that's basically saying. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The labeling of people is, okay, I super love your concept of giving, you know, the labels. Like, he's um, loving. He is, he always texts me. Isn't it, mm. isn't it wonderful? All of that. Yeah. Try to change all of the labels that you have given the person and make the person into this, the best version that they can be. Yeah. And I'm teaching this to my mother, which is kind of hard because she's been married to my dad for 25 years. Yeah. And she created my dad with labels from her own insecurities back when she was young. Yeah. So years and years of labels is hard to change and go completely to zero and say, you know, my husband loves me. And mm -hmm. so she created this... Mm, person that he's only with her not with me not with my sisters yeah but so i told her change one thing we got into an argument last week i said yeah one thing about him just say yeah. that something positive do it in your head you don't have to tell me anything yeah and she called me yesterday i want to tell you that you're right because she was saying how can he change towards me he can he has his own um what do you say uh, you make your own decisions? Free, he's got his own free will. Yeah, yeah. Said, yeah we all have free will, but the yeah. will you give to someone, it depends on you. Yeah. You. Wow, so you're helping your own mom. That's huge. <laughs> That's amazing. Cool. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah, but it's funny. Once you learn this self-love, you learn about really about giving versus getting you learn about um at meditation you learn about ho'oponopono you learn about living in the end and everyone's you pushed out once you learn all that it's like you start to see everybody else's relationships and what they're complaining yeah. about what's going on you can see it's an echo of them you can see it yeah and it's hard because a lot of my friends are in that and i can't yeah everybody no no you can't you can't and and sometimes it, when you try it backfires people turn yeah. they get angry at you or you know especially if you say I like, yeah never mind, never okay, mind. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> i'll see you in 10 years <laughs> i'll come back later <laughs> exactly mm -hmm. yeah yeah so yes. yeah, you've got stuff written down. You you just share what you want to share. Oh yeah, um, I wanted to say also that during this process, when you want to start getting your ex back, or journey about loving yourself. I don't think social media is a good thing. Yeah. I gave it up. You challenge yourself and say, "I'm going to give it up for 30 days." Yeah. And during that time that you are bored and you just want to scroll down somebody's newsfeed, read a book. Yeah. Read a book read um watch a youtube yeah mm -hmm. yeah watch something do a meditation yeah um social media ruins your self-esteem yeah. i think and yeah. and it, whatever you're feeling you attract also through it mm. so you read memes that are like um oh if he um if he really cares about you he will text you yeah he will come look for you yeah like that stuff it's a no, no. I it's agree. So bad for you. I agree because it's all about what he's not doing again. Yeah, 
and yeah. you have a lot of angry people out there that just want to talk and talk and talk and yeah and it's it influences you and you're like well maybe they're right maybe what i'm doing is stupid so yeah but social media yeah 30 days. 30 i days. so agree with you so agree with you and i never actually turned it back on i have yeah. um yes yeah. to stalk my sisters yeah <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm the same. I don't, I go in there to go into one Neville book club and that's it. I, I don't even remember the last thing I saw or even looked at. I've got no idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's good because you do, like you say, you go and do a meditation or you go and read a book or you listen to a YouTube and you go, this is, you know, I only get that much time every day. So mm -hmm. what am I going to use that time with? What am I going to do with it? Yeah. And you're using, you're actually uh, absorbing information that is useful to you and your own personal growth. Yeah. So. Yeah. Even like posting pictures. Oh, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna see what he's doing. I'm gonna see what she's doing, and let me take a picture with a drink so that yeah. he knows I'm busy. Like, I oh, know. it's so so bad for you. Well, it's you trying to get attention yeah. or, or reassurance from the outside and it's not that that whole thing there's something wrong with that at the base of that there's something wrong with that yeah. mm. so if you want to post something just ask yourself why am i doing this yeah or do yeah. i need a comment from somebody to tell me that i'm beautiful yeah that. no you don't need that yeah and if you think you do then you got some self-love work to do exactly That's yeah what self-love meditation comes from because that's a never-ending thing yeah yeah Every day you have circumstances that will mm. call you like it's like a an onion you know every yep. layer you you take the um i'm not beautiful then you okay i passed that yeah good now I'm, i feel beautiful but guess what mm. i don't feel important now i gotta work on that so yeah um what i was saying before um there i had a circumstance a couple of months ago where i didn't feel good enough Mm. I was good enough three months ago. Yeah. But two months ago I wasn't. Yeah. So yeah. it it never stops. And yeah. then you start seeing it in other people, the way they act towards you. So what you gotta do is self-love. Yeah. And what I do, I create my own audios. Yep. So also if you speak another language, it's good to make your own. Yes, your own. exactly. Yeah, in your own language. Yep. And when you do it, I have this girl that I met that she um, does the self-love in like, like a robot. I'm love, I'm love, I'm love. Like, that's not how you do it. You got to sit down, put your little light on the candle. Yes. The music and say, I am loved. Yeah. I, like feel it. Every word. Yeah. That changes your life. So I have my own audios that I listen to in the car when I go to work that I say I'm good enough. I am good enough. Yeah. My brain wants to listen to music. I'm like, nope, shut up. Yeah. Uh, we'll do that after. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> All day for three days. Yeah. Music. Yeah. Yeah. Until the feeling shifts. Yeah. Yeah. I agree with you. That's more important. The music you can, you can come back to, but yeah, if you're taking that into the, your work day, mm -hmm. you're going to get evidence of it coming back to you where people treat you that way. So yeah, it's better to spend that time driving to work, correcting it for sure. Yeah. yeah and then it happens you know when you listen to a song and then you listen to it and later you're playing it in your head you're like oh my gosh i can't get it i can't get enough of it yeah and it happens with the affirmations i would be typing at work and my brain is like i am good enough I'm like, oh yeah you're still working over there <laughs> <laughs> so that helps yeah it does and it does get stronger and stronger and then like you say you might have a day where something happens and you go oh there's the i'm not a priority again there's the i'm not wanted again there's the i'm not secure whatever it is it's hit you somewhere and you go okay so that's what it is now we've got to work on that they always come back <laughs> they do they do deeper levels of it and yeah. you, it's like you say, it's like an onion. You peel off the layers over time and it gets less frequent. I think mm -hmm. the more work you do on this, the less it hits you more. Like you're not living in drama all the time. You have less dramas. You have more peace, more calm. Right. Yeah. And you will have circumstances that will hit you. They will make you hit rock bottom again. Yeah. Okay. Like that's yeah. 
part of the process of life. Yeah. You learn something from it. Yeah. So if I have a bad day, when I go back to my meditation at night, when I go and thank for the day, I say, you know what? I had a shitty day. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. I had a really bad day. Yeah. So, let's not do this again. Yeah. I, I learn from it. Yeah. Tomorrow's going to be better. Yeah. Correct. Correct. And, the best you don't thing. judge yourself you don't judge yourself it's just you're human you've got emotions you've got life things that affect you we're human mm -hmm. yeah and it doesn't mean nothing is working actually mm. it is secretly mm. it is mm. but the best thing you've given me is the revision meditation <laughs> okay love it love it love it love it if i get into an argument yeah revise it yeah That's never happened not that somebody says i'm sorry to me no i agree yeah yeah because that's the ego talking if you try to get the apology it's yeah. still about you got to apologize to me which is still not coming from the right yeah i agree i agree so, which rivet is it the one with music on the meditation channel or the no. old one an old one with just Very voice okay yeah that's my go-to absolutely but i don't try to revise everything because sometimes like i said the bad thing that happened during the day it was useful to me yes so I appreciate it. And I love it. It's yeah. all an image anyway. It's yeah. all not real. Yeah. So, um, I love it and I move on. Yeah. You can't revise everything. No, you can't revise everything. You can't do Ho'oponopono on everything either. You'd be doing that all day. <laughs> yeah, I, I have met people that do that. I know. I, I mean, you can do it a lot, but there are times where you actually need to be focused at work or you need to be food shopping and picking out your vegetables, you know, you need, you need to be <laughs> present. <laughs> exactly. And uh, one thing uh, they taught me at work because now they do these um, meditation Mondays, I think. Yeah. Whatever. It's once a month. Yeah. They have somebody, um, some spiritual speaker coming. I work at a hospital, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, so they have somebody that comes and teach you how to deal with your stress. And they said something that really clicked me. A lot of people, when they're eating, they're thinking about something else. When they're driving, they're eating. They're like, you yeah. have to be in the moment. If you're yeah. eating, eat. eat. Yeah. Look at the food and say, mm, this is good. Don't yeah. be on your Instagram. Don't be yeah. on Instagram. Enjoy the little things. Yeah. When you're That's, driving. I agree. I was in a cafe two days ago. And these two people, husband and wife, sat next to me because they had just they had a little baby. And she's eating her food on her phone. And she I could see, I looked over, she was this close to me, so I couldn't I could see her phone. She was on Facebook. He's got the baby in front of him and he's on his phone. And I thought they're they're not even they're not even looking at the food. No. And I just thought Oh, I'm glad I saw this because this is again a reminder why you don't split your energy, scatter your energy. You focus on one thing, you give it all your energy, you calm down. It's about peace. It's about being, like you say, in the moment. But it's giving the food the appreciation it deserves too. Yeah, because you were given that. You don't, yeah. like, you don't have it. And yeah. I don't know if you're spiritual, but that's true. It's true. Some people don't have it. Exactly. Exactly. And I don't yeah. even that that the people don't have it because that's not my yeah. life. But yeah. you have to appreciate appreciate. Everything. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a good one. And there's a guy called Dan Dapani that I've mentioned a few times. He talks a lot about concentration mm -hmm. and and how in this generation in 2018 we don't know how to concentrate. We're we're so busy multitasking, like you say, you're eating, you're checking your phone, or you're traveling on the bus and you're you know, you're checking your emails. Like there's always this thing of doing multiple things at once yeah. and you don't do anything with a pure energy or a gratitude energy. It's not there. Exactly. So yeah, and I think that's, yeah. With the relationships too. Like mm -hmm. you cannot be in a relationship and then think about when am I going to get married? Yeah. When am I going to do this? Yeah. How about you enjoy this date today? The date today. Okay. Yeah. I can't be thinking about me and my specific person next, like two years from now. I don't no. care. Yeah. Right now I'm creating what I want at the moment. At the moment. Yeah. It's like you're in a day tight compartment from morning till bedtime. That's what you're doing today. That's it. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's lovely. That's lovely, Marianne. I think that's really important to just slow down mm -hmm. because this is racing. That's why all that multitasking is happening because this is chaos. Yeah, and it's a um, lot of escape from yourself. It's you escape. Slow down, yeah. You have a connection that's really important that people should know. Yeah. You're not creating by yourself. Yeah. Everything that you ask like the um, writing, scripting, um, meditate and of your desire. It's not all by yourself. You mm -hmm. have a universe that you're connected to, mm -hmm. a God, a light and energy that it's important to know. And that's where it goes with the let go trust because you have the desire, you worship the universe with gratitude. Yeah. And then while you're sleeping or during the day, the universe works. It's magic and you shouldn't worry about how it does it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's a big thing for many. How's this going to happen? When's this going to happen? And, and this, the bigger thing is trusting life. Yeah. Trusting, if you want to use the word universe, God, you know, higher power, source, whatever words you want to use, but that you relax and you trust and then you, then you remove anxiety, you remove stress, you remove worry, you remove when you really can practice that saying, okay, I'm going to surrender and let go and I'm going to trust. And you literally say it to yourself. Yeah. I think that's really important. It's important to know that there's a connection. Yeah. It's yeah. always listening. And so if you're confusing it with other people while you're trying to get your SP, yeah. Know, yeah. be yeah. determined. Yeah. And I meditate in the morning and I meditate at night. Five yeah. minutes, Agnes. Like that's all I need to say thank you for waking me up today. Mm. Thank you. And I thank for something that I don't have yet. Thank you yeah. for the patience I will have to encounter all of the problems today. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for the to surround I mean, thank you for just for surrounding me by loving people. Yeah. And I always go through my speech and I mean it and at night. I thank for everything that happened. Lovely. You have to. Yeah, beautiful. What a good practice. It's like little bookend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I close, I start my 24 hour, like, it's like a day, you know, you have one day. Yeah. And make the best of it. Yes. Yes, I really agree. I really agree. Gratitude is such a big part of, it's such a big part. It's so easy to forget. So easy to forget, you know. Yeah. But like you say, you do yours morning and night. I do mine when I'm in the shower. I do 20 things I'm grateful for when I'm in the shower. And I think if you do it at a set time of the day, you just know, okay, this is my time for this. This is my time for this. And you, yeah. you literally get into a routine with it. And I think that's really helpful. Yeah. And, and there's moments that I'm too tired. Yeah. Well, yeah. You, you, you have to. And it doesn't last me that much. It's honestly like maybe mm. three yeah, it's lovely. Very good use of three to five minutes, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. Instead yeah. Of my email. Yeah. Like now, my uh, email. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. yeah. So, what else have you got on your list? You got to, you had some good points to share. Oh, I think I got my points. Uh, I think I talked about pretty much everything I wanted to say. Lovely. But, yeah, I just, mm. I really want people to know that it's not just about getting your ex back because yeah. the effects are going to be temporary. And a lot of people just have temporary effects. Yes. And that's because the, the, the well, what I see when, cause I get a lot of emails where people say, okay, we got back together and then it's three or four months later. Oh, and yes, he's gone again or she's gone again. And it's like, well, what did you do? You, <laughs> what did you do? What did you do? Did you still do your self love? Um, not as much. Did you still do your affirmations? No, I kind of let that go. It's like your whole world just became that person again. And then you yeah. dropped the ball and they went, Oh, I thought you'd changed and you haven't. See ya. They off they go. Yeah. Yeah. That's we, yeah. Um, we have to do it every day. It's a, mm, it's a lot it's of stuff. Um, the person, but it's with everything. Like you, yeah. 
you may have beliefs about other stuff. It doesn't always have to be around your specific person. Like mm. um, I had so many people. Um, well, first of all, I don't like to share my relationship, even with my friends. And yeah. like, I still don't. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still don't. And not even my mother. I don't want people's opinions. I agree with you. Yeah. If I have a problem. It's between me and him and my yeah. religion and, and me and me. Yeah. I agree. Me. I agree. And you keep yeah. it like that. Right. Half of the time, if I have an issue, I don't even share with him because I know it comes from me. I agree with you there too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Telling them what's going on and be happy. And yeah. Like there's times I can say, I'll, I'll share this little stupid thing. This is, this was at the beginning. Um, it was, it's really, I really like to say good night. Okay. I go to bed like a little old lady at eight thirty or 9 PM. Yeah, so, that's fine. He probably sleeps all. I mean, he stays awake all night. But um, I, it matters to me that good night message, or it used to matter. Yeah. And sometimes, like he would be playing a video game, and not answer. Yeah. Completely forget about it. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. But um, so I started not caring anymore, and now if I if <laughs> if he does it, I'm like. I text him back and say, you're so dead. Like, <laughs> you need to answer my mess. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, yeah. These things, like, let go of stupid stuff. Let go of it. And when you look at it, too, you go, okay, why am I so needing that, that good night message? Yeah. Um, that's kind of still needy that I need that. And then I get upset if I don't get it what's driving that you need to give to me you need to give to me you need to give to me there it is again there it is again like you say he doesn't have to change it's it's you yeah. i agree with you you do start to see that that stuff's a bit stupid it's so dumb and and once you actually accept it, it those episodes don't happen anymore they don't you always say good night so yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's helpful. it's helpful to see whenever stuff like that happens, it's a, it tells me where I lack. It tells me where I need to work on. Yeah. What's going on with me. So whatever happens to me could be from mm. a person or every, anything else. I just analyze it and say, okay. Yeah. What um, affirmation is causing this? Mm -hmm. And it, then you learn it. And then I create an audio of yeah. affirmation of the opposite yeah yeah exactly so would you say that's your daily routine is affirmations in that that book ending little prayer or gratitude prayer um okay affirmations for me they come when i need them the most mm -hmm. so it could be today i may need affirmations tomorrow i may not okay but, um the gratitude is an everyday thing yes. yeah yeah. And lose that time either in the morning or in the night. Yeah. After I think if I have a desire, I say it right then and there. Um, that's my moment that I am connected and I'm peaceful. I don't have anything going on. So if I have an extra desire, hey, I need some more money, that's when I not I don't say, Hey, I need more money because that comes off needy. I say thank you for yes. the money yes. that I have received. Yeah. And um, I have had this question um, the other day from a girl asking me, how do you connect to the universe? I don't okay. know. Um, th that, those minutes are what um, I need. Yeah. Like, I don't like feel, oh my gosh, I'm connected like a plug in the wall. Yeah. <laughs> I just know it's there. That's a good visual. <laughs> yeah, it's not like an enlightenment that only a few people can get. Oh my god. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Just sit down, relax, and yeah, breathe, let go, allow. I I find those simple things of just saying, "You're a bit wound up. Have a cup of tea. Have a light the candle." put a meditation on, relax, relax, let it go mentally, focus on your desire. And then you've done enough. Now let it go. It doesn't need to be something that you like a chicken that you're squeezing around the neck all day. No, it's no. Special at all. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. just knowing that it's there, knowing that it's there, trust life, 
trust you're okay, trust you, trust your ability to just be able to manifest or connect with the things you desire. The more you work on you, the more things flow, the more things flow, the easier it gets and things come. Yeah, they always come. Yeah, and it doesn't matter whether it's money or love. Really doesn't matter either one or health. You know, if you have a health condition, it's surrender is a big part. You cannot get things when you're tense. Just can't get things when you're tense. It doesn't work. So you have yeah. to be the best version of yourself because yeah. a lot of the times if we're not honest with our people around us and if we act um, out of brattiness or I don't even know if that's a word, but yeah, um, whenever the person is cold with us, we're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Mm. I need to fix it. But if you're actually honest, consistent, loyal, whenever that person is cold, you're like, Oh, well, that's on them. Yeah. I, yeah. I am the best person I can be. I mean, the best version I, of myself that I can be. I am loving all the time. So if that person is going through something. They'll I'm let not. me, they'll let me know. Yeah. 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 And you don't have to take it as a personal thing because people have other things in their lives too. So yeah. things that affect them. So yeah, it is cutting people slack or letting things go or being more relaxed. Yeah, I think, and that takes practice, it does. It does, and yeah. you have to accept that they go through their own path, the same way you went through a breakup, mm. they're going through a problem with their job, mm -hmm. and you can't fix it, you can't be their happiness. Yeah. I try to let the universe do the light, life, I'm sorry, um, take its course and say, I'm here to help you and support you. But you also have to go through that. Yeah. Yeah. And a lot of us want to be always the happiness of the other person. We want to patch things and you don't want to put band-aids on their life. Cause yes, you repaired it once. It's going to happen again next month to them. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's allowing someone to find their way. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. So in terms of you were talking about being at work and they're doing meditation there. So you started saying something about that, but did we finish that little part of the story? You were saying that to deal with stress or at your work, they. Oh, oh no, no, no. It was the part where uh, the, um, the person was saying that we have to enjoy minute every minute. Yeah. Like we yeah. have to focus. Mm. Um, super important. And I think we should also use our time to do creative things. I always yep. um, tell people like paint or draw or play music. Yeah. That will make you pass time while you wait for the tax, which you shouldn't. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I notice. well, a lot, I'm in your mm. I've been trying to do this, but it's not coming. He's not coming back. She's not coming back. Well, what are you doing wrong? Where? Um, hmm. It's and also I wanted to talk about this. Um, I got a lot of people saying, "But you're pretty, and it's easier for you." It's hmm. not. It's really not. A lot of the people that I met that came to me are drop dead gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous women that I would totally switch my body with. It's fine. Like, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, girl, how do you not see that? Yeah. And it doesn't matter. If no. I feel that I'm not good enough, you're going to see me like that. You're going to see my insecurities. Yeah. Just a shell. Yeah. Actually, looks really has so little to do with anything. Nothing because what the perspective of what's pretty to you may not be pretty to me. Mm -hmm. So if exactly. I don't think that I'm pretty enough, it's probably because I prefer a different version of a woman mm. that I don't look like. I mean, not anymore, but I'm trying to. Yes. Yeah. Like last year. Yeah. Yeah. No, it really is. The most attractive people are people that love themselves and you can see and see it in their face, right? see it in their eyes that they're just, happy within themselves that's what makes you attractive and i've seen people that are you know either really overweight or they're 
you know, they, they've got something that, that would say, okay, they're not perfect, but those things are what make them more beautiful because it makes them unique. Yeah. And they've accepted that about themselves and therefore you just naturally are drawn to them and you think, wow, they've really got, they've got something, they've got mm -hmm. something. And it's that, you know, that's very attractive in people, very attractive, male or female, young or old. Yeah. And those, um, the really beautiful um, women that I met are the ones that are actually attracting a third party. Yeah. And it's crazy. Yeah. Because you're more than enough. You're amazing. Yeah. That's and what you have to and do. comparing the, I get a lot of emails of people saying about third parties and how they were constantly obsessed with, they'd be out by themselves and they'd go, oh, my partner would love her or my partner would find her really attractive. And you're doing this to yourself while you're out shopping for cornflakes. Yeah. Like your partner's not even there and you're already putting yourself in second best, second best, second best, second best all day long, trying to look, compare yourself to whoever you just saw. And that's very sad. It's sad, but you know, understandable when you don't know better, you don't know. So once you do the self love, you go, that isn't self loving to do that to myself. I'm going to work on I'm first best and I'm loved and I'm loved and I'm loved and I'm loved. I'm going to work on that. Yeah. And mm. you, social media like I was saying plays yeah. a part in that because you see a yeah. lot of people that are photoshopped or whatever and you can yeah. oh he would really like her yeah oh, I should look like that so if you take that catalog mm. remove that yeah stop comparing yourself yeah it used to be just magazines now it's you know, Instagram and Facebook and not probably not so well, yeah, YouTube, it's video form, but yeah, I, I think if you've got that issue, you're going to come across stuff that makes you feel that way more and more and more you're attracted to it. Yeah. Yeah. It comes yeah. To you. yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And how do you want to share anything else? What else is going on in your life, Mariana? What are you kind of playing around with? What creative stuff are you doing? Well, right now I just got my citizenship yeah. in the U.S., which it was a huge achievement for me. Mm. Let I'm, people, I mean, I know, I know your story, but for those that don't know, where do you come from? I come from Italy. Yeah. And actually when I moved here in 2008, um, I ran away from home. Yeah. And yeah. I got married. Yeah. So I was married at 19 and that's how I got I wanted to explain this because a lot of people are like, how are you in the United States? Yeah. This happened. I was um, married at that time. So at least I got this out of it. And yeah. so what I'm, I'm trying to create a different job. I can't yeah. say much, but it definitely involves the citizenship. So it is for the government. And yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. I also want to go um, back to school because the way I got my job, which requires a degree, I don't have one. Okay. And, um, that's something that, that I definitely created. And mm. so I can do it. Yeah. I yeah. can do it. That's a good affirmation. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I want to get a scholarship. So this is what my things are. Um, this is what's planned for me because everything else is honestly perfect. I don't want to say, but um, I created my life. I lived by myself and yeah, I would like to keep it that way for a little bit because I yeah. have independence. Yeah. And I think that uh, personal space is really important. And a lot of my friends are always like, Oh, why can't you just move in together? I'm like, chill out. Yeah. I, I like my space right now. Yeah, yeah. It's always this thing of rushing. Why? Like slow it down. Slowing it down, you get so much value out of slowing things down. Ooh. And plus, like, you know, what I noticed is that other people that are around you have their insecurities and they attract things to yeah. them. Yeah. I would like to not be involved with what you attract. Yeah. 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 So, mm. I, I eliminated um, some friendships because of that too. Yeah. 
they would get themselves into trouble and then I'll be like, oh, I got to be the friend that helps. Yes, yes. So, yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I've done, I've done the same thing, Mariana. That's a lesson I've had to learn repeatedly. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. feels lonely sometimes. Uh-huh. Yeah. And it does, but then you kind of, you attract other people and people that are like-minded yeah. and people that go to bed at 8.30 at night and people that do their meditations and people that don't drink and all that stuff. Yeah, that's true. You do your little pockets of people around the world that are living this, you know, looking after your health, eating more, you know, just eating better food, exercise, all that stuff, getting enough sleep and, you know, yeah. and people see it on your face. They say, guy, what have you been doing? You look like you've been on holidays. No, I'm actually just taking care of myself. My self loves better. My sleeping better, eating better, all those things. And yeah, it just comes, it just comes out of you because a lot of people don't. No, you have to also accept it. That was the thing mm. to get rid of the past because a yeah. lot of people are just hanging out around because you, oh, mm. you had them as friends for a long time. But you yeah, also, oh, you're a different person now. Yeah, exactly. And sometimes because you've been friends a long time ago at school, or you know, things do change, and you even if you had a you know best friends, or you do change, and you do not every relationship, even friendships are forever. Even if you've known each other for a long time, it can change and it can just drift apart. Yeah. 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 Surround yourself with people that have the best interest in you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't have opinion. I know you all want to share stuff with, yeah. but don't. Mm. I have one friend and I tell her everything. Yeah. She actually lives in Italy yeah i love so much and she's doing her own journey in other ways like through her job not attracting a specific person but her job yeah so i've um she helps me a lot because if i ever encounter an insecurity i just tell her and it's one minute she tells me don't do it she suggests me at one of your meditations and yeah we don't keep talking about it we don't even with my mom i tell her don't tell me your problems with that i don't care because yeah. you're just creating them more yeah yeah and so, people think that you're insensitive when you say that but it's because you actually don't want them to get another big evidence a big wave of experience about it yeah yeah and when they people email me sometimes mm-hmm. i just get a long i'm sure you do yeah uh, I get that long email of the whole life story, not even like, hey, Mariana, can I talk to you? Is it okay if I share my story with you? No, they're telling you, even their bank account number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. And that way you have already put the story into the universe once again with all of the emotions and you just destroyed yourself. Mm. Yes, I think when you come from the place of, okay, I've got this, this is not working. And Abraham Hicks talks about this so well. You turn away from it. You look at the don't want, it gives you the want. You turn towards the want and you focus on that. And it's that simple. Hold on, I lost you. Okay. Yeah. What happened? You were talking yeah, about you know. yeah. Okay. yeah, Abraham Hicks talking about you just focus on, you go, okay, there's the don't want. Okay, I'm not going to talk about that or put petrol on that fire by talking to friends or, you know, just going over and over and over it with my mom or whoever, you know, whoever you, you used to tell. And you go, okay, this don't want is showing me what I do want, which is the opposite. Now I need to focus on that. I need to practice living in the end. I need to dissolve whatever beliefs I have. Like you say, I'm not feeling good enough. Okay. So there's what I don't want. I'm not good enough. I need to focus on, I am good enough and practice. Say it, say it, say it, say it, feel it, feel it, feel it, feel it. That's the work. You don't need to go on about it. You don't need to talk to people about it. You just get on with it and do it. Yeah. Yeah. And it does take time. I think to stop talking to people about stuff. It's like you got to practice, stop doing that complaining story for half an hour to an hour to a friend or whatever. I yeah. think you got to practice because it doesn't get you anywhere. It actually, you know, doesn't. No, words have a weight. And yeah. My mom, when she wakes up, she talks to 10 different people. Yeah. About the same thing. Wow. 
and because she came in to visit me from Thanksgiving. I'm like, Mom, how can you be on the phone at 7 a.m. with 10 people? Yeah. Wow. Sorry, you know, it's it's bad. Yeah. Yeah. I think being half Italian, Mariana, I think part of that's cultural. <laughs> I agree. I always tell her, come here, come to me. I know. When I go back to France and I see my, well, my French Italian family, I see that all the time. I just think, it oh. is. It's the drama. It's so the dramatic. Drama. Like the, the laundry machine breaks. Woo. Yeah. It's the end of the world. The end, end of the world. What am I going to do? Like, oh, oh. I know. Usa, calm yeah. down. <laughs> and when you, when you move away from being right in your culture, you can see that, you know, more clearly and it becomes a bit funny. You can see the humor in it. Yeah. And it's yeah. nice to create your own opinion. That's definitely, that, yeah. that was a blessing for me to separate myself from my house because yeah. I, um, I made my own beliefs because yeah. you, you also have your beliefs based on your yeah. parents. Like, exactly. So yeah. watch that because, yeah. um, yeah, certainly do. Yeah, if your mom says that you need to um, always, you need to just get married and have kids and not have any aspirations, and that's what you mm. have in your head, then you'll never grow. Yeah. Like, yeah. actually learn who you want to be. What do oh. you want to do? And if that person hmm. seems to you um, more um, social than you or has yeah. something more than you, try to see what can you do within yourself mm. to be better. Exactly. Exactly. And like you said before, you paint, you draw, you read, you watch YouTubes, you go for a walk in nature, you explore what do I love, what do I love, and you, you know, listen to music, you listen to the music that you love, you, mm -hmm. you meditate, you do what you fill the day, throughout the day with things that you love. Obviously, when you're working, you've got to work, but the rest of the time, you know, you can do these things because you're free. You're free. You're not working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That's not humanly possible. So you've got time off. What can I do that would make me feel really good? And then your life gets better and better and better when you do that. Yeah. And you learn what you actually find out who you are. Yeah. You, besides yeah. loving your specific person. And besides loving your specific <laughs> person. There's so there's much more. So much yeah, more. <laughs> exactly. And really... Like you said, I remember you said at the beginning of this interview, you said, I, I can thank my specific person for breaking up with me because you actually see this. It's like, it's like the tip of the iceberg, the specific person's at the top, but there's all this stuff underneath oh, yeah. that you discover when you have to try and let go of them and, let, and learn about self-love and stop trying to get love and all this. You discover, like you said, this whole new world of everything not just relationships it's huge yeah, yeah. yeah. When yeah. It's, it, it sucks sometimes i have to say because you know how life works now so you're like oh man i know that i'm the cause of the problem and and you see it in other people making those mistakes but it's so good because you're so powerful yeah and i actually told him that i'm thankful for him breaking up with me he thinks i'm nuts but <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna no. yeah yeah I'm, I don't have right now the patience to explain how this works. Mm. So I want him to learn on it, on his own right now. Yeah, I try yeah. to give bits and pieces, but it's not my job to match yeah. you with no. my beliefs right now. No. And the thing is, you can be in a great relationship and people don't have the same beliefs about exactly. this it's stuff. Exactly. It's going to accept the other yeah. person. Yeah. I don't change anything in him. Yeah. I love him for who he is. If yeah. He, whatever. Yeah. You got to accept the person if you want to be. Yeah. And this is an interest of yours doing the self love, doing yes. the. Yeah. And yeah, it's, it's fine. I mean, I've got a lot of friends that don't do any of this stuff, but I can still go and have a coffee with them and have lunch and laugh. Mm -hmm. They don't have to do this at all. It's, it's like, it's almost like saying people have to be the same religion or be part, belong to the same political party to be able to get on. It's like, no, you can go and totally enjoy someone else, you know, I've got some friends, they know nothing about this, but a couple of them are really happy people. And so you go out, you laugh, you talk about creative things and what you're doing and, and, and then you walk away and that's, that's enough. Yeah. That's enough. Yeah, yeah. You definitely have other things in common. Yeah. yeah. So 
I don't oh, care. Oh, wonderful. Mariana, we've been talking nearly an hour. Unbelievable how oh quick. Gosh, you're right. <laughs> isn't that incredible? It goes so fast, honestly, yes. when, you, when you talk about something fascinating. See, that's when you know you're doing something fun is you just go, what? That was an hour. It's gone. Yeah, I just saw the time. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, is there anything else you want to say before we go? Um, just, I don't know. No. no. Love yourself. We yeah. all, we're all the best, okay? Yeah. Really yeah. are. Yeah, lovely. I'll put your first interview down below for people that, you know, are new to the channel and they can revisit that. And, uh, um, yeah, it's just cause you said you had some good gems in that first interview. I know a lot of people, when I'm coaching them, they said, I watch Mariana and she said that. And it's like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, it's good when you feel like you can pay it forward and pass on, you know, okay, I've finally understood this and, and I'm do I'm still working on it, but I'm better at it than I used to be. And I can okay. feel, you know, so that's something you can pass on. And that's lovely. It's lovely. Well, thank you very much for your time. It's thank beautiful. You. Thank you so much. For yeah. Having me it's lovely. Yeah. Well, we're going to say goodbye, Mariana. You want to say goodbye? Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everyone. <laughs> and Mariana, stay on and you and I can say goodbye in private. Yes. yes. Okay. Right.